recording? No, I did that last oh. part. Hey people of YouTube, today we're covering the complete installation of the 52 inch Stone Ridge ceiling fan by Hampton Bay. If you found this video, you might be stuck in your own installation, you're looking for some help and some guidance, we're here to do just that. We're going to cover the complete installation from unboxing to turning it on and everything in between. But if you want to, you can fast forward using the links below and that will take you to each individual step along the way so you don't have to watch the whole video. Yeah, so I said this is a hugger fan and it's perfect for rooms with low ceiling. It has some great installation features like a slide on mounting bracket, it's got the quick install blades, it's got AccuArm blade arms with captive screws. All these features are going to make the installation much easier. Um, we're going to cover in detail every step of the installation process, so stick with us, we'll get you through it. And if at the end you found the video helpful, please click like and subscribe and that'll help other people find the video too. Alright, so before we get started, a couple important notes. You want to make sure that your outlet box is marked acceptable for fan support. If it's not, you're going to want to swap that out before beginning. A lot of times people will place a fan where there's just a light kit in the ceiling on a little plastic box. That thing's going to break and it's going to cause problems. So you just want to make sure that the outlet box is marked acceptable for fan support. Another important note, please make sure your electricity is turned off at the breaker box and at the wall switch. This is a really easy project, but if you don't feel comfortable working around electricity, please consult with a licensed electrician. Alright, that being said, our lawyers are happy. Now we're going to go through the parts, make sure we have everything before we begin, and that way we don't get stuck along the way. So, we've opened up the manual. First part here is the mounting bracket. This is a slide-on mounting bracket. It's going to make the installation easy. We'll cover in detail how to put that in. Uh, you have the fan motor. You have the light kit. The light kit has the socket nuts already pre-installed. You'll need to remove those before putting the glass shades on. Again, all this is going to be covered in detail along the way. Five AccuArm blade arms. These have the captive screws. You have five reversible blades. Those are the quick install blades that just snap right onto the blade arms. You have three LED bulbs. You have three glass shades. You have the fan motor housing. This is the decorative ring that goes next to the ceiling to conceal the hardware. And you're going to have this hardware pack that has the plastic nuts and the pull chain extensions. Now just one quick note, this could be an issue for some people. In the switch cup, there's a hole here. This is a screwdriver access hole to allow you to attach the blade arms to the motor. And again, we're going to cover this in detail, but just wanted to give you a little note. Screwdriver is going to go through here to attach the blade arms there. Alright, so we have everything we need. Just a couple tools. It's a super easy project. You just need a Phillips head screwdriver. Depending on your house wiring, you may need some wire cutters and strippers. You know, of course need a ladder and some electrical tape. So that's it. We're ready to begin. There are two screws on either side of the mounting bracket that will align with the L slot and the standard screw hole of the motor housing. These screws hold the motor housing in place when it's installed. When looking at the mounting bracket, the screw on the left will align with the L slot and the screw on the right will align with the standard screw hole. Begin by first loosening but not removing the screw on the left side, and then loosen and remove and save the screw on the right side. Repeat this for the other side of the mounting bracket. This fan features a slide-on mounting bracket for easy installation. There are two slots in the mounting bracket that will align with the two screws of the outlet box. When installing the mounting bracket, you'll simply align the screws with the slots in the mounting bracket and then slide it into place and tighten. This is just a demonstration. To install the mounting bracket, begin by loosening but not removing the two screws in the outlet box. Next, run the house wires through the center hole of the mounting bracket, making sure that the side with the rubber pads is facing towards the ceiling. Align the slots with the screws and slide the mounting bracket in place. Then completely tighten both screws using a Phillips head screwdriver. Make sure both screws are completely tightened.
Hang the fan motor assembly on the mounting bracket using the slotted hole of the motor bracket and the hook on the mounting bracket. Insert the hook into the slotted hole to conveniently hang the fan for wiring. Before wiring the fan, gently unwrap the wires coming from the motor assembly. Just remove the rubber band and gently stretch the wires out. Begin wiring the fan by taking the green ground wire from the fan and connecting that with the bare copper wire from the house supply lines. This is the ground connection. Twist those two wires together and complete the connection using an included plastic wire nut and a piece of electrical tape. Next, take the white wire from the fan and twist that wire together with the white wire from the house supply lines. This is the neutral connection. Twist those two wires together and secure the connection using an included plastic wire nut and a piece of electrical tape. Complete the wiring by taking the black and blue fan wires and twisting those two wires together. Once those wires are twisted together, twist those together with the black wire from the house supply lines. This is the power connection. Secure the connection using an included plastic wire nut and a piece of electrical tape. The fan attaches to the mounting bracket using four pre-installed screws. There are two on either side of the fan motor bracket that will align with the four screw holes in the mounting bracket, two on either side. Lift the fan assembly so that those screws align with the screw holes in the mounting bracket. Once the fan is in place, use a Phillips head screwdriver to secure the fan to the mounting bracket. Make sure all four screws are completely tight. The motor housing attaches to the mounting bracket using an L-slot and a standard screw hole on either side of the motor housing. These will align with the screws in the mounting bracket. Place the motor housing over the motor assembly and align the L-slots of the motor housing with the two screws that remain in the mounting bracket. Then push up and twist to hold the motor housing in place. Once the motor housing is in place, use the two screws that were removed and saved before installing the mounting bracket. Insert the screw into the standard screw hole of the motor housing and tighten using a Phillips head screwdriver. Repeat this process for the screw on the other side of the motor housing. Once those two screws are tightened, completely tighten the two remaining screws in the L slots. The decorative ring attaches to the motor housing using two slots on either side of the ring that will align with the two screws on either side of the motor housing. Simply slide the ring up and onto the motor housing, push up and twist to engage the screws in the slots and lock the ring in place. When attaching the blade arms, you'll notice the alignment post on the blade arm. This will align with the long slot at the base of the motor. Insert the alignment post of the blade arm into the long slot in the base of the motor and the two captive screws will automatically align with the two screw holes in the motor. Insert a Phillips head screwdriver through the screwdriver access hole in the switch cup and completely tighten those two screws. Repeat this process for the four remaining blade arms. Make sure all of the blade arm screws are completely tightened before proceeding. This fan features quick install blades. There are three posts on the blade arms that align with the three keyhole slots on the blades. When installing the blades, you'll align those keyhole slots with the posts on the blade arms and then press down and pull away from the fan to lock the blade in place. There's a spring clip mechanism that will lock the blade in place when properly installed. This is just a demonstration of how the system works. The blades are reversible, so just choose the finish that you want and make sure that that finish is facing towards the floor. 
and then place the blade on top of the blade arm, aligning the keyhole slots with the posts, and then push down and pull away from the fan until you feel the spring clip lock in place. Repeat this process for the four remaining blades. The light kit attaches to the fan using three pre-installed screws on the light kit. Those three screws will align with the three screw holes on the switch cup of the fan. Before attaching the light kit, you'll first need to use a Phillips head screwdriver to remove and save the three pre-installed screws. Next, locate the blue wire and the white wire in the switch cup of the fan and gently pull them out. Lift the light kit to the fan and connect the light kit's blue wire to the fan's blue wire and the light kit's white wire to the fan's white wire using the easy snap connector plugs. Once the wire connections have been made, gently tuck the wires into the light kit and the switch cup. Align the curved cutout on the light kit with the pull chain on the switch cup. Then gently push the light kit into the switch cup. The screw holes will align properly. Then use the three screws that were removed and saved to secure the light kit to the fan using a Phillips head screwdriver. Make sure all three screws are completely tightened before proceeding. Before installing the glass shades, you'll first need to remove and save the compression nuts on the sockets of the light kit. Simply unscrew them from the sockets and save them. Install the glass shade by placing it over the light socket and then secure it using the compression nut that was removed and saved. Simply screw the compression nut back onto the socket. Be careful not to over tighten, as over tightening might cause the glass to crack. Repeat this process for the two remaining glass shades. Install the LED bulbs into the sockets by screwing them in. Attach the pull chain extensions in the hardware pack by simply snapping the end of the pull chain extension onto the end of the pull chains from the fan. This fan features a three-speed reversible motor. The reverse switch is located just above the light kit on the switch cup. Switch left creates a downward airflow for use in the warmer months. Switch right creates an upward airflow to draw warm air from the ceiling during the cooler months. Make sure the fan is off before changing the switch position and reversing the fan's direction. The fan is operated by pull chains. The center pull chain controls the fan's light. Pull once to turn the light on and again to turn it off. Pull the off-center pull chain to control the fan's speed. One pull for high speed, two pulls for medium speed, three pulls for low speed, and once again to turn the fan off. Congratulations, your ceiling fan installation is now complete. Time to kick back, relax, and enjoy a nice tall beverage and your brand new ceiling fan. As always, thanks for watching, and we hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please click like and subscribe down below, and that'll help other people find the video as well. And as we always say around here, keep it breezy.